What's up, man? 25 gamers. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the best red zone play uh, in Man 25, and actually, this is probably the best goal line play. Um, you want to run it at about the seven yard line on in. Uh, that typically works for it. What we're gonna be looking at, and uh, this comes from the New York Giants offensive playbook, and the play we're gonna be focusing on is the Giant slot trail. And, and what we're gonna look at is why it's the best play. Uh, in my opinion, it's it has a lot of different reads that you can use. And uh, I run this play a lot. I, I run it every time I get in the red zone, to be honest. Um, and it, it just it, it's, it gets results. Uh, I typically always go for two, and, and most of the time get it uh, with this play. So let's hop into this and, and explain why it's the best play. And, and actually, the practice mode doesn't do it all justice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into a play now game and show you um, why it's even better in game than it is in practice mode. So let's just take a look at this real quick and. and and obviously, you know, your your opponent will make adjustments. This is just a basic idea of what they may do. Um, so we're going to first look at the nickel normal. And first things first, uh, we want to look at the cover two. And let me go ahead and get down into the red zone here. Um, and let me turn off the stupid vibration on this controller. I'm so off key right now. I'm, my, my mind has just been blown today. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So what we're going to do, uh, we set this up very simple. You're going to put DeMarco Murray on a wheel route. You're going to put Jason Witten on a fade. And Miles Austin, you can do a couple of things with. Um, you can put him on a smoke screen. You can put him on uh, a zig. You can do a lot of things. I personally find it most useful to put him on a smoke screen. Okay? So smoke screen uh, to Austin and the, the route on the right. Your first read here is going to be Jason Witten. And if they don't drop defensive linemen, um, I, and I threw that a little late, you're just going to pass lead that down. Uh, so it's 6 o'clock, and, and that will usually uh, be an easy first read to have on this play. Uh, I find myself really rarely going to this. A lot of people will drop guys uh, in, in coverage during this time. But it is a quick read we can make if they don't drop it. It's, it's pretty good. I mean, he rarely ever drops it for me. And that's why I really use the Cowboys uh, right now is mainly just because Jason Witten never really drops the ball for me. All right, the next read on this play is obviously going to be the slot trail route. Uh, with, the, with the pass lead to the left, it doesn't, doesn't really do it justice in the red zone. I know I say to do that when I broke down the actual play. But what you want to do is you just want to lob it. Uh, so when he cuts up field, just lob the ball. And uh, right there wasn't – I don't know what happened on that. But typically – and this is actually more of a man read, uh, but typically what will happen is Williams will just get in, a, in an area where it, they're just not they're just not going to defend it. Here you see not against the cover two, but obviously that's not really a read that you're going to be making. We're going to show you why in just a moment, but um, you can just you know just bullet pass it to the back of the end zone, and, and it just it's a very difficult route to stop. A lot of people will not be able to stop it. Um, the next read on this play is DeMarco Murray. And this is going to be open if they're not in the cover two. So you see they are in the cover two here. But like if they're in um, if they're in a two man under and what the what you'll and we'll get back to this in a moment, but what they'll start doing is they'll start using this um, this guy Weddle here because the left side's killing them. And then they may drop a guy here and then they're going to take Gilchrist and put him in the middle here as well. And they're really going to jam the middle because of the, what we're going to show you in a little bit. Uh, the actual main reason I love this play in the red zone. Uh, and so against man coverage, you know, not only is the slot trail route going to be a possibility, but also the route to Murray is going to be even more open. So let's take a look at that. So here, um, DeMarco Murray wide open in the flat. You're going to break a tackle. Obviously, you want to wait a little bit. Um, there, I got a little anxious. Let me just give you the right timing. Um, just hard pass lead left, and it's going to walk in there. Um, so that's that read, and then your um, next read is going to be Des Bryant crossing across the middle of the field, and that's the main reason we like this play. Um, here you're going to see when he gets to the back of the end zone and cuts across, they just never cover him, and we're going to talk about more of that uh, when we go into the play now, but it's just almost always open, and, and I rarely ever have to go to anything else. And then, of course, if, you, if everything breaks down, um, obviously running with Romo, uh, Romo's not the most mobile quarterback, but in my opinion, he gets the job done. You can obviously try to sneak it in with him. Or what I've also been doing lately um, is lobbing the ball to Williams when he comes across. So when he cuts to the inside here, wait, wait, cut. And you see that little uh, little jump animation he gets? 
uh, it, it just I just find it really effective so uh, I overuse it a lot um, take a look at it against man here when he cuts back and just lob it and it just seems like he's almost always open so uh, that's cover two um, you see a lot of that cover three we'll just show you uh, cover three is very very vulnerable to this play uh, first of all the tight end if they don't drop anybody is going to be an easy read we have uh, and that's what I love about that read it's just something quick it's hot route it's not like you have to go out and find it you, you know it's in your audibles in your hot routes um, and then our second read Williams does uh, against cover three you you definitely don't want to lob it uh, you want to bullet pass it so if they have like a deep zone defender over there you just need to know hey I need to bullet pass this uh, typically, I would say bullet pass is more common than lob pass on that route. Uh, here, we'll show you the bullet. See the bullet, the flat down gets sucked, flat route gets sucked down by the running back. All right, so then also cover three, we'll just show you, even though it won't be open. Uh, DeMarco Murray, uh, if you lob it, it, it can get open, but you definitely don't want to bullet pass that. All right, and then Des Bryant's route will be open as usual. So Wade we'll wait, wait, cuts across, and you don't want to throw it. Like, you want him to clear a little bit. So he'll continue to come across. You just need to hit him at the right point. Uh, so obviously cover three is different than cover two because of the position on the field uh, that the defenders will go. So like here, right in the back of the end zone is where you're probably going to hit Bryant. So right before he comes across the middle. And then obviously cover three. Um, typically, uh, Miles Austin will not be open, as you saw there. Uh, so that's just we just need to note that Miles Austin really won't ever be open. Uh, he's more of a use uh, to suck down routes in the cover three than to necessarily be a read. But obviously, you always want to just give him a look. But um, and then of course the lob pass to Williams is still there. So that's man cover three and cover two. And now I want to hop out of this. And I want to show you this play in game because uh, I was I was actually practicing a couple weeks ago against uh, Zboy365 from MadMoments.com, and he like didn't know what to do. Uh, he he got so mad at me, uh, and it was just mind blown that it actually not only did it work one time, but it works every single time uh, without without question. I I hope it works in a play now. Uh, I know for sure it works in. Um, I know for sure that it will work in an online head-to-head -head because I run it all the time. Uh, I'm just hoping that play offline isn't different than online, but sometimes it is. You never know. And I'm sorry for the length of the video, but I hope I just want to show you guys uh, how effective uh, this this play really is. So let me grab the Giants playbook and we'll get going here. Uh, we're just going to show you three or four times. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not really gonna. Actually, you know what I should do is just let the computer play defense so that the computer can pick the best play for the situation. So let me do that. Let me do that, actually. That's that's smart. Thanks for letting me know, guys. All right. So now let me grab the Giants book. And it doesn't matter what, I am in all, what I'm in on all defense. All right. Giants playbook. And we're just going to show you three or four clips, um, three or four uh, possessions, we're not actually gonna, you know, play the whole possession, of course, but we're just gonna um, simulate uh, to them and then show them to you. So, all right. Uh, while we're loading up here, I want to remind you guys that my YouTube channel is free. Uh, don't charge for any of my tips or content. Uh, I would appreciate it if you guys are interested in seeing more Madden 25 tips, gameplay, content rages i'm probably gonna start raging uh soon but uh definitely subscribe uh i try to put four videos out a day uh, which comes to an average of 28 videos a week and i think i you know i do that because there's a lot to cover in this game and and i try to cover everything that i can and i'm working on getting a little bit uh better because I know I am missing, certainly I'm missing Ultimate Team and Connected Careers Mode and all that. And I, I know that's a big asset of the game. A lot of you guys play Ultimate Team. I was shocked when I heard how many people actually play Ultimate Team. Uh, and I played it for a little bit and then I kind of I kind of tailed off because it, was, it didn't have anything to really do with the YouTube channel. It was more or less, 
I just had other stuff to do, and I, I needed my time in Madden to be geared more towards learning the game because I don't have enough time. I didn't have enough time to put into it, but now that I'm working a little harder on uh, getting ahead in my classes and, and uh, at college and, and my YouTube channel, I've been able to spend a little bit more time on the game this week, and I've actually learned a lot more uh, about it, found this red zone play that I'm going to show you guys, and am just pumped to share this with you. So... Let's hope we don't give up a kick return to the computer because that would be embarrassing. And we'll just uh, game super sim it to my next possession. Alright, let's exit sim. I hope I don't throw an interception. That would be embarrassing. I threw plenty of the interceptions five minutes ago. Alright, giant slot trail. We're just going to run this all up and down the field. You guys already know how I love to run this play. Uh, you know, with these setups. And there's really not a whole lot they can do to stop it. Um, so we'll just get downfield here. Uh, obviously, guys, I broke down the Giant Slot Trail route as being the best route in Madden 25. I uh, hope I didn't already cover the red zone setup. I don't think I did because I did it so long ago. I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's just let's just see if we can shake and bake here. Um, also, real quick, while we're while we're just driving here. I uh, want you guys to please, 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 please start reading the descriptions of my videos. Uh, I know in the past I have not been always, have not always given you the most detailed, uh, detailed uh, description. But from now on, I'm gonna start paying a little more attention to that. I know that some of you guys don't understand everything I'm saying. Uh, and also, for those of you, and this is really cool, and I hope that they don't get mad at me for telling it. I hope they're actually proud of me for sharing this. Because uh, I, I, I meant to say this uh, a long time ago. Oh, please don't throw a pick. Okay, so here you see we're in the five. But uh, MaddenTips.com has this um, beginner's uh, glossary to Madden or guide to Madden. And I think it would be really useful for you guys to check out. So uh, here, we're not going to focus on any of the... Uh, so real quick, we're not going to focus on any of the other reads. I just want to show you uh, the route on the left side this time. In this situation, Austin's going to be over there. So snap, go. We wait, wait, wait. And then there we go. And there you see that one-handed grab. Now, that's not even... That's not even the best it gets. Uh, let me see what happens. I mean, you definitely want to put your best, uh, your best uh, big guy receiver here. So for the Cowboys, it's going to be Des Bryant. For the Broncos, Demarius Thomas. For the Patriots, Rob Gronkowski. Um, so definitely, definitely want to set your depth chart up right. But here now, we should be able to see. Oh, I almost threw a pick on my own play. I am so bad. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um, the reason that that was covered on that play, let me just jump into that, is again, you have to hit the route with the right time. So there's different coverages, as we all, as we already know. There's cover two, cover three, cover four, all that types of stuff. Cover two will take away, you, will, you would throw it at a different point than you would against cover three. And right there, I just didn't really pick up on that. And also, guys, technically, if you want to get really truthful, you're not going to have to throw this, the, that route against a cover three. You're normally only going to have to throw it against a cover two. So that's a good thing because um, it now, you know, it now kind of eliminates the guessing game. It's now just all uh, kind of read based. So uh, let me get down there again and show you this. This is going to be hopefully, hopefully it won't, won't be over 20 minutes. I really want to show you this animation because like, when I did it, it just blew my mind, and it it's blown everybody's mind that I played so far with it. And um, but also, like I said, read the description uh, of the video. It's gonna uh, I'm gonna have some links in there that I think is really important. I'm gonna have a madtips.com uh, glossary wink. It's uh, gro I can't even talk. <laughs> a madtips.com uh, glossary glossary link. And what it's going to have in it, what the glossary is, is basically, I know some of you guys don't understand what base align means, or what motion snap means, or what, uh, if I say hot blitz this, or globally blitz, or all these terms that you pick up on as you play the game, and as you, you know, play with other people who've played the game before. Um, so... If you want to get a hold of what I'm saying, you know, I did some beginner tips videos, but if you don't feel like watching the video, then what you can do is just go to that, go to this page I'm going to link you to, and it will have everything written and explained. So I think it's a great addition. 
there you see another one-handed one-handed attempt I'm still not getting that really incredible animation he was doing for me the other uh, that he does for me on the mul online multiplayer I'll try to grab uh, I may grab some online head-to-head -head, uh, uh, gameplay at some point and show you see there's the little toe tap in the back of the end zone that's still not everything I mean there's this one animation like you guys will literally just like crap your pants if you see this I mean it's crazy how crazy like it's just it's almost unfair <laughs> uh, what kind of animation we're, uh, I'm trying to show you I don't know if they do it on offline that's the one thing I'm not really quite sure of I know it works in online though let's see Ah, uh, see, it's. I wonder if it's just because I don't even need to. I wonder if it's because I don't even need to. Uh, because it's so open, um, that I don't even need the route to work properly. Um, because obviously, I mean, it's open all day long. The the idea here. Oh, I wish I was on the other team so I could decline that penalty so I could get the ball back. But anyway, um, what was I going to? I was going to say something about the uh, route. Oh yeah. But anyways, uh, that route. Typically, will, will always be open. What you want to do is, and, and this is kind of going back to, you have to know how to throw it to get the right animation. Uh, I had Z-Boy practicing it, and since he doesn't have the natural talent that I have, he just couldn't, he just couldn't get it down. Um, <laughs> but uh, there is certainly, certainly a way to do it. Um, my man flew there. <laughs> um, what you do is, you, it's a pass lead, so. You guys all know, hopefully you all know what bullet pass lead, bullet pass means. If you don't know what bullet pass means, be sure to check out that madtips.com uh, glossary that I told you guys about. I just threw a pick on my own play. I am so bad. Like, this is the thing, guys, that drives me nuts, is that when the computer can pick you off, and, like, you practice that play in practice mode over and over and over again. Just blows my mind, man. Okay. So we'll just call four verticals because I'm getting tired of running that stupid play. I mean, it's a great play. It's just sometimes you get a little bored. That should be money in the bank. I don't get that. Last year, you could lob pass like that. This year, not so much. But yet, <laughs> if they throw a lob pass against me, I mean, you know, it's it's money. So I don't know what the deal is. Uh, so just trying to get down here to the red zone. Uh, also, real quick, if you guys are having trouble beating the computer, like if you think the computer is good on defense, call to play four verticals every single time. Put the two wide receivers on the right, on the outside on comeback routes, and then put the running back on a wheel route. It's almost unguardable. I mean, it's, there's no, not a whole lot you could do about it because the zones are gonna flood. It's it's crazy good. Uh, that's how you can beat the computer on any any level. So here, real quick, we're gonna look at this one last time. Pass lead at about one o'clock. It still didn't do it. I'm driving myself nuts. Like, dang it. I don't know why it's not doing it for you guys. But he will, like, what happens is he jumps. Like, but not only does he jump. You see the goal post? He jumps about that big in the air. And, like, the defense just doesn't react. But, see, like, right here, I guess he just doesn't have to do it. So, I guess that's why he doesn't do it. I don't know what the deal is for for why he's not wanting to, to get big, but it's you have to bullet pass it. You may got you guys may try it in an online game if you're winning by a lot or whatever. You want to bullet pass it at one o'clock. Obviously you don't have to do that. This plays money anyways. You'll get that animation. But check that out guys. Uh, see if you guys can master it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. Sorry we went overboard to show you the route that didn't even work for me right in the play now mode. So I guess that means we can't use it in live tournaments to show off our super skill to our friends. But we can certainly use it online and the play still works offline just as good. It's just you don't get that crazy animation. So thanks for watching today guys. I really appreciate another opportunity to share uh, some Madden 25 content. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next week with another Madden 25 tip.